What would you do if you saw someone, especially a child, in trouble? Would you jump in to help or assume that somebody else would do it? Recently, we went to the streets of suburban New York and put some folks to the test. Hey, bud, do you need some help? Yes. place like this street in New York City. If you were unfortunate enough to be the victim of a crime or taken ill unexpectedly, you might think that surrounded by all these people, someone would intervene. After all, isn't there safety in numbers? Psychologists say no. John Darley and Bib Latine. Subjects, 72 students, 59 of which were female and 13 male. Independent variable, the number of believed bystanders. The dependent variable, reaction time of each individual. The goal, to investigate the effect of the number of witnesses on reaction time. As part of a course credit, 72 students participated. These individuals were asked to discuss what kind of personal problems new college students could have in an urban area. Each participant spoke to other participants, a varying number in a discussion group, but each of the participants had separate rooms. These conversations took place over microphones and speakers, and the participants were told it was to protect the anonymity of other participants. All the microphones of other participants were to be turned off while the subject spoke. The number of voices that the subject will be talking to varies for each participant. There are five possibilities. First is a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and the last is a group of six participants with one subject talking to five pre-recorded voices. At one point in the experiment, one of the voices is of someone faking a seizure. The result of the experiment? 85% of individuals act when alone, while only 31% act with bystanders present. Takeaway, diffusion of responsibility makes people less likely to help someone in need the more people present.